Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, Katleho Mabue receives warm welcome from the Expresso team. Hashtag cat is back is trending on social media and it is all because of Katleho Mabue's triumphant return to Expresso on SAPC3. Now Katleho Mabue made his first appearance on the morning talk show this morning and viewers expressed their excitement over his return. It was an emotional affair as Katleho Mabue returned to Expresso as you could imagine. He took some time to greet his co-presenters and we got to see his close relationship with Graham Richards. Now Kat sat down with Graham and together got the chance to speak openly about his life over the past two years. Now Katleho said the following, a lot has changed. I didn't know what this would feel like. It felt good. It felt welcoming like home. Just a home that you haven't seen in a long time. Now Katleho went on to say that what happened to him has not deterred him from his goal in life. He's quoted as saying, no matter what has happened to me over the past couple of years, I never wanted to let go of the desire that I have to be a force of positivity in people's lives. There was a moment when I thought the darkest thoughts, I thought wouldn't it be better if it was just done just quickly now done my family wouldn't have to worry about having to call me every day and deal with me yeah man definitely glad that he ignored those dark thoughts because recently we've seen some stories of celebrities succumbing to set dark forces i'd imagine now Katleho also spoke proudly of the support system that he received from his family and friends he went on to say there have been many touch and go moments where my self-identity was questioned but i worked my way through it with support from friends and family and people who i met in person or on social media who have constantly told me to get up and start again to every single person who has prayed for this moment and wielded it to come to fruition thank you from the bottom of my heart i cannot tell you how much this means to me here's to many more feel good moments now in the interview, Katleho also acknowledged that his son helped him realize his self-worth. He spoke about how his son gave him a sense of stability and how he helped him overcome all that he did in the past years. He went on to say, that realization came to me, even more so once I had my son. I would look at him and the way he looks at me and how he tries to imitate me in certain things that he does made me find certain stability within myself of acceptance where perhaps he would learn in the years to come to accept himself for who he is it made me realize that i am made of strong stuff i have to believe that i am made of stronger stuff than this a lot of people look at the past couple of years and the downsides of it they look at the loss and everything that came with it but I look at the fact that I have had a solid two and a half years of quality time with my son and nothing can replace that. Not any amount of money or dream or ambition or achievement could ever replace that. But yes, I want to show him what the world is about, the importance of connection with human beings, to have empathy and understanding. So yeah, those were some of the words from Katleho Mabue as he returned to Expresso Morning Show. Now taking a look at some of the tweets under the hashtag cat is back on social media. The first tweet reads the Expresso Morning Show team welcomes Katleho Mabue. Let's play that video for you guys real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together this time and not for the last time for Katleho Mabue! <laughs> Yes, man. Woo! Yes, man. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Thank you. What time is it? Oh, my word. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, family. family. Welcome home, buddy. Family, family, family. Woo! Look, look at you guys, though. Look at you guys. You, you all look absolutely incredible. You look amazing. Yeah, and I can it's, feel uh, your energy. Beautiful to have you back, brother. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, South Africa. Do Melang, San Bonadi, Molwe, Wow, what a, what a privilege it is to be back in your living rooms again, to be able to welcome you to a new day with an incredible team. Yeah. 
Cat is back. Now, Katleho Mabue posted the following on social media himself, straight from the heart. Thank you, South Africa. Words fail to encapsulate this moment and its significance. Not just for me, but for my family and all who have poured into my cup. You have filled me to the brim. And Kiatsuloha, Kialeboha. Roughly translated, the Kiatsuloha, I believe it means I am overflowing. Kialeboha means thank you. Not a bad translation, if I do say so myself. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, Cat is back. Do get in the comment section down below and let me know what did you guys think about his first show back on Expresso. And I suppose all that's missing is for Cat to be back on Change Our Die Day. But yeah, before we change our diet topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Joop Joop's real fiance accuses him of cheating with several women. So in the previous video, we reported on Joop Joop's fiance finally getting exposed. Now for the longest time, reports had suggested that Joop Joop is married to Italian Kiptonian businesswoman named Zenith Maya, but now City Press has uncovered his real alleged fiance who accuses him of infidelity. So City Press published an article titled Joop Joop Uya Jola 99. Now the article claims that Dumim Tembu has been in a relationship for about 19 years. They apparently got engaged in late 2021 but Dumi has come out to expose him for allegedly being a serial cheater. Now all of this comes from that City Press article so please do not attack me. Now according to that article, Dumi was with Joop Joop when he was involved with exes Amanda Dupont and Kelly Kumalo. Now reportedly Dumi was even holding it down with him during his prison days. Now the article has the following quotes from Tumi. What makes me angry is that I've been here, I've been highly supportive, I've forgiven him for girls like Amanda, Kelly Kumalo and all the others who I don't even know. I believe that this time around he really wanted to grow and do right. Even when he was in jail I was always there, we were always stable. The last draw for me was what he did on his birthday. It became clear to me that he never loved me but he was simply using me. Now she then went on to address Zaneth who is also apparently his business partner. She said although the general public knows her as his wife, she is not. Neither is she not the main woman. She goes on to say in the article, the woman who's known in the public as his wife isn't his wife. She's just another one of the women he's currently dating. She doesn't know about me. According to her, she is his main partner and that's what we all think because that's what he wants us to think. His strategy is to put a ring on your finger and say you are engaged. He told me not to post any of our pictures on social media because he didn't want his future wife to be known in the media. So all this time I've been thinking that he's with me. But it's just a strategy for him to date both of us. Now the publication then goes on to allege that Dumi found out Joop Joop was cheating on her during a video call. She also accuses Joop Joop of being broke and the woman he's with fund his lavish lifestyle. Now I will say this, this kind of begs the question of who is Joop Joop talking about in his previous interviews. His 2018 interview he did on Metro FM's The Drive where he gushed over his woman and also that interview he did speaking to Slicker on Live about the woman who held him down when he got out of prison. So yeah, according to City Press, Mocha Love Uyachola 99 presenter Uyachola 99. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what do you guys think about that City Press article. For me personally, I'm more inclined to believing this article. I don't even need the proof. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, please do me a huge favor. If you did enjoy the video, please share it with your family, your friends and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.